Well, it's super simple. It's about 10 steps. Don't let your friends tell you that it's more than that. Don't let your friends tell you that it's super complicated. If they do, or if an agent tells you it's super complicated, find a new agent. They're getting in too deep. So it's 10 steps for you. The first step, find the right agent. You, you're gonna be working with us a lot. We're gonna be calling you and the last thing we want is you to pick up that phone and be like, oh my golly, they're calling again. You wanna love us. You wanna be excited when we call because we're calling with houses. We're calling with things that you might love and that you might put a bid on and move in and call your home. The second is prepare your finances. So we wanna make sure that you've got a credit score of at least 620 here in Virginia for most programs. Um, and we wanna make sure you've got a little bit of savings because you're gonna be moving. So you're gonna move in and shower curtains aren't gonna be there and blinds aren't gonna be there and you're gonna need an earnest money deposit and all this other stuff. So we wanna make sure you have some cash on hand. Third, we wanna get you pre-approved because we don't wanna walk into a house, you fall in love with it, then we go to the bank and they say, hey, you can't afford that one. That's never a good feeling for anybody. So we wanna make sure we're shopping in the right price point for you. So if you get pre-approved, we have the price point down. After we get pre-approved, you get to do the fun stuff. We actually get to go look at houses. We get to go in and see what you like, what you don't like, what you hate, what you wanna change, where you wanna actually live. And so after we find that perfect house, we're gonna write an offer and we're gonna send it over to the seller and the seller is gonna decide, do they love it and wanna accept it? Do they wanna counter us? Or do they wanna ignore it altogether? And those are the three choices the seller has and we get to decide from there what we do. After you get that offer accepted, you're gonna need an earnest money deposit. So that's some money that you put down that basically is putting your money where your mouth is. You get it back at the end during closing, but right now it goes to say, hey sellers, I'm serious, here's some cash. Then you're gonna get a home inspection. That home inspection is gonna look at the top of the house to the bottom of the house and everything in between. And it is going to tell you three things because it's not a pass fail. It's gonna tell you what works, it's gonna tell you what doesn't work, and it's gonna tell you the age of your roof and your HVAC and your uh, water heater and all your major systems so that you know going in, hey, the roof is on its last leg. I might need one in the next couple years so you'll know whether to save. Or, hey, the roof's got like 30 years in it. It's brand new, I don't have to worry about it. And then after the home inspection, an appraisal is going to be ordered. The appraisal is going to tell you, yes, what you're paying for the house, the house is actually worth. And that's what we want to make sure because the bank's not going to lend you more than it's worth. Now, say that appraisal comes back in short, we're going to ask the seller to lower the price and then the seller can say yes or no. If they say no, you can walk away. If they say yes, we just keep going. So after that appraisal comes in, then we have this period I like to call hurry up and wait. It's a lot of thumb twiddling. You're getting lots of stuff done on the lender side, not so much stuff done on my side. And so we tell you to pack and we tell you to change your addresses and start getting everything set up because we wanna keep you busy so you don't you know, jump off a ledge and decide that the house isn't for you. Because we all do it. I mean, if you sit too long, we all start going, oh my golly, this is a horrible idea. Believe me, it's a great idea. After that, the lender is going to come back and they're going to say, hey, you are approved. You can buy this house. We're going to do a final walkthrough. Make sure that the house looks exactly like it did when we first saw it. You're going to go to closing, sign a stack of documents. Yes, about an inch thick if you've got a loan. And then the house is yours. And you get to get the keys. You can move in that second. You can move in 60 days down the road. It really doesn't matter to us. But we're here at The Real RVA Agents for Life. And so we make sure that if you need a contractor or you need a fix a handyman or somebody in the future, we're here to help you find the perfect person. And then we're also here always to help you sell that house when you're ready to move. So that's how to buy a house in a nutshell.